Hello friends, welcome to my new exciting tutorial of 3D Max. In this video, I'll show you how to make a curvature pillar in a spline and then convert into surface and then uh, make it proper pillar. So let's get started. Welcome to the first lesson. Uh, I'll take a shape, I'll go to shape and I'll uh, go to arc in front viewport and from here I'll make 2.5 snap and I'll say grid points say from here to maybe like this and yeah something like this see the pivot okay yes and I'll go to left again front and I'll rotate th this arc to get a proper cross section but before that I'll go to hierarchy effect pivot point and uh, I'll say end point and click on end point I'll off this effect pivot point I'll go on top I'll off the snap I'll go in rotate and I'll on angle snap I'll press shift on my keyboard say some around 40 45 or 50 say copy again I'll make one more copy of it 90 will be fine I'll go to in perspective just have a look everything is fine then um, go ahead I don't want uh, this shape I'll delete one click on the shape slightly I'll move to make a broad uh, base so if you want sharper point you can of course we can go to closer now uh, I'll convert this to vertebral spline and I'll attach the second one and click on spline yeah and if you click on spline uh, the option called cross section will uh, there like see uh, cross section and click here and click second over here it makes the support uh, to make a surface like this and I'll make add surface and I'll add shell to it shell modify that will give the nice strong feel I'll go to top viewport now I'll make copy of it again I'll make snap on end point on is fine space bar for get this lock so can perfectly snap it so release it I'll make a, another copy of it 90 snap on and then I'll make a copy of it snap on so here we got a very nice uh, curve uh, curve thing and I'll go in left viewport I'll have some support to it release the lock select entire thing 
shift this to the top I'll go to top viewport I'll add circle and rectangle press control to get a uniform uh, cubical shape rectangle I'll select both of them and give some light color so this can be visible and I'll go to left viewport add a path Uh, I'll go to compound object geometry and compound object say loft get shape I'll add the shape now this shape is over here if you click here and say 100 the yellow point will be down so of course you can change the shape to a circle or whatever you want so again I will make some slight I will make slight shift of this yellow dot Again, I'll make so you will get a sharp, it's very sharp. Yeah, this much, and of course, you can rotate the shape later on. If you go inside the loft shape course you can rotate the shape loft get shape now I'll go to shape scale the shape arrange the pillar like this so uh, this is how uh, we have uh, done this pillar I'll give same material so So this is how we have made the pillar the curvature with cross section. So this was a tutorial for today. Um, if you uh, like my video do let me know uh, about my tutorial. If you want some kind of tutorial do let me know what kind of tutorial you want from uh, my channel. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned.